Stick around for the greatest ad for Squarespace I've ever made. I hate the beach. It surprises a lot of people when I tell them that. It shouldn't, though. The beach sucks. There's sand everywhere, you gotta bring stuff. It's like day camping, but at least with camping, you can see a cool bug every once in a while. At the beach, you get kids. You get women laying out, and you can't even look at the women for too long or you get escorted off the shore. Same thing with the kids. But the number one reason for my distaste is that the beach is sticky. You rub on globs of sunscreen, sure, that's kind of sticky. But sand? Sand is the final boss. You don't want sand in your shoes, so you take your shoes off. And then you roll up your pant legs so they don't get wet. So now your feet are on the sand, which is boiling, by the way. So you gotta wear flip-flops. But you can't walk on sand with flip-flops because you end up slapping sand all over your stupid calves at that point. It's a zero-sum game! When you're all beached out and glowing red, you shuffle your way back to the car and try to rub the sand off your sticky wet feet so you don't get sand in your vehicle, which it will 100% get in your vehicle. You can't outsmart sand because it's sticky, like syrup. And that's my problem with syrup. It tastes great. I enjoy it in my mouth. I just don't like dealing with it. If I'm having breakfast with a friend, I have to keep my eyes firmly planted on the syrup container whenever they start pouring. I don't care who they are. I will not like their pouring technique. Everyone gets a little sloppy. And I need to know where those dribbles go. Because if it goes down the little syrup container and creates a little syrup ring on the syrup table, I now know that I can go nowhere near that section of the table. My fork is now on my plate, my napkin is on my lap, and I will not shake your hand. When you combine those two things into, say, a breakfast place by the beach, you're asking for trouble. Sidebar, a lot of people ask me how I make the balloon animals in my ads. The truth is, I used to be a balloon guy for an IHOP in Clearwater Beach, Florida, and I would hand a balloon animal that I just spent five minutes making to a kid with sticky fingers. The table would tip me a couple bucks, I'd go to the next table, and a crying kid. The parents call me back. Why did it pop? Sand! From before! Because sand is sharp. Especially if you're a balloon. I still like balloons. Just not at the beach. The beach sucks. I hate the beach. And you should do. Our special guest tonight, a dog that knows algebra. But first, back to this guy. So I hear you have a new movie to promote. That's right, it's about a futuristic dystopian world where this guy builds a beautiful website to run his business with Squarespace. Let's roll the clip, cheerio, all right. Yeah, okay, so um, in this scene, my character sets up a calendar so his clients can see his availability and book appointments easily. And I hear you're playing Nicole Kidman's love interest. Let's take a look, say poxy. Nicole! We don't have much time! Squarespace now has a new video editor that helps you create effortless pro-level videos and share them with your audience. Okay! Whoa, 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 hey, that's literally a spoiler. Did you get clearance for that? All right. Anything else you'd like to say? I was in cats. Uh, you can build your own website today. Just head to squarespace.com slash Daniel Thrasher for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use code Daniel Thrasher for 10% off your first purchase. Oh, bloody hell! My producers are telling me you're out of time. Bring out the dog. One plus one is one. <laughs> no!